you might be asking yourself, are YouTubers funny in real life? Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hello subscriber, it's me, Cassidy Quinn. So as you probably know, I live in Boston, which recently meant that I got to go to the No Filter Show. If you haven't heard of the No Filter Show, actually, let me correct myself, the hashtag No Filter Show, then you clearly are not subscribed to three of the funniest ladies in the YouTube sphere. Daily Grace, Mamrie Hart, and Hannah Hart. Yes, Mamrie and Hannah are married. These three women, Ladies all have their own separate YouTube channels where they post hilarious and just f***ing awesome content But they are also really really good friends So they decided to go on a comedy tour taking their show from YouTube onto the road and now it's back here on YouTube on my channel It's the circle of life or YouTube Which is my life and they're calling it the no filter show it's a mixture of stand-up comedy, improv, and just everything that is awesome in the world. So today I decided to do a little review of the show for you guys because I went and it was so great. So, so great. And obviously, I vlogged while I was there. This is like a behind the scenes look because the stage is still empty. Oh my god, I don't even know what's going to happen on the stage, but I'm really excited. First of all, the show opens with a song parody of I just want to film this moment The girls were literally encouraging the people in the audience to film these moments of the show and put them on YouTube well, Like I'm doing right now Then the rest of the show, there was literally everything you could possibly imagine all on one stage. There were costumes. Something smells great in here. <laughs> there were giveaways, including a giveaway of Grace's underwear, which apparently is just a thing of beef jerky. She liked meat in her pants. I don't know. Sorry, Grace, you just did that for me. They also did a giveaway for people who have been tweeting like mofo at the girls about No Filter Show. Clearly, I won the first shirt, and Hannah Hart was literally wearing like three of these shirts layered on top of each other on her body, and she stripped them off. Thought I was gonna strip there, didn't you? Who do you think I am? I am going to give, um, through the vessel of my body, uh, a t-shirt to people whose tweets I think have been really great using the hashtag NoFilterShow. Uh, so, yeah, now you're like, I got to up on that social media. It is a great comfy shirt. It's my new favorite sleep shirt. It's just a great time shirt. That's all it is. Taylor Swift was even there. <laughs> Thank you to the sleep time. <laughs> Who knew that she did stand-up comedy? Learn something new every day. Mamrie did You Deserve a Drink on stage. Right there. Welcome to You Deserve a Drink. Vodka or a donut vodka. But it's such a vodka. Yeah. Three. One of my favorite sketches was definitely Mamrie and Grace dressing up as band camp crazy counselor ladies. Band camp. I have severe OCD, and if any of you little turds have so much as a speck of fun fetty brownies on your uniform, I will be licking the corner of my ceiling for weeks. <laughs> I have no choice in who was adopting me, but I can choose to lick the corner. the show was over, I tried to wait for the girls to come out so that I could meet them and talk to them, but they never came out because there was a second show that night that they had to prepare for, which is understandable. I was kind of bummed. But I did get to meet the one and only Tim Helbig. He's Grace Helbig's brother, if you didn't connect the dots on that one. And I got a lot of secrets out of him. 
Tim will destroy you. Tim will destroy you Someday right in the now. future. I'm quite lazy in the present. But like, when will you destroy... <laughs> when? That's the mystery of the channel. <laughs> and, and I like to say that if I do conquer and destroy the world, you're all gonna look like idiots because I've been warning ah! you for years. <laughs> when did you realize, like, oh my god, being Grace's brother is like a thing? <laughs> Um, it actually wasn't that long ago. What? I say, or probably like a year and a half, two years ago. That's a, that's kind of a long time. Uh, that's kind of well, maybe for you. Cool. She's cool. She's cool. She's less than 32 degrees Kelvin. <laughs> no, but she's a very warm personality. Cold. But do you like like do you like being her brother? Yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's awesome. Has it helped you with your YouTube career? <laughs> yes, you, like, absolutely. You, no, I would, have, goal in life? I would have three followers if she didn't have a channel. <laughs> What's your goal in life? Oh, I what don't do uh, Conquer and defeat death. Also, drink more water. Tim was super, super nice in person, which you can probably tell from watching his videos. The people that worked at the Brighton Music Hall, where this show took place, pretty much had to kick me out after I was interviewing Tim because I really just wanted to stay. I didn't want to admit to myself that it was over. Because it was so great. So I don't know what the future holds for the hashtag no filter show, whether it's gonna keep touring around the country or the world or the universe, but if it comes to your city, mark my words, please go see it. You will not regret it. Even if you have like $30 in your bank account and the tickets are $25, do it. Spend that $25 on the ticket and then spend the other $5 in your bank account on a drink once you get in there, if you are of age. The next day when you're on the streets with zero dollars in your bank account, you will be proud to know that your last $30 were spent on the No Filter Show. These women are literally the dream team of YouTube. I don't know why, but for some reason, watching them interact in any way is just really, really entertaining. Overall, I would give the No Filter Show five, yes, five, um, No Filter Show shirts. It was the best days of our lives. It just inspired me to go out there into the YouTube sphere and make great content, make better content, make funnier content. It really goes to show that just be yourself. Be as goofy and as weird as you are on the internet and things will work out for you. People like other weird people because everyone is weird. That's the secret. That's what the people that look normal don't want you to know is they're weird too. That's true. Don't tell anyone I told you. What am I doing? Good thing I do not have an advice show. But I've actually been thinking of doing one. Should I? Would you want advice from me? I don't know. Might be bad advice. I just told you to go live on the streets and spend your last $5 on alcohol. Oh God, what is my life coming to?